Oh man, so this is a long time coming. Uh, my Twitch viewers know that uh, we had a whole arc for this game. I think I started this game back in 2021. I had always heard about Mass Effect and you know how great the series was and it's the best trilogy ever made. She. I've heard about Mass Effect for years. I, I just never got around to playing it. Um, someone I think had gifted me the game or I either bought it on sale from the PlayStation Store. Got through Mass Effect 1 and 2 pretty quickly, I would say, but the whole thing with Mass Effect 3 is I kept on picking it up and playing and then dropping it. A new game will come out. I'll be like, I ain't playing this old behind game no more. So that's why I think it's, it, it, it definitely took me longer to beat Mass Effect 3 than the entirety of Mass Effect 1 and 2 combined. Um, but yeah, I, I did beat other game. I think it was like last month. I beat the game uh, sometime and people was like, bro, please, please do a review. <laughs> please do a review for it. I have this series called Better Late Than Never when, you know, I go back and play like a game from, you know, back in, from back in the day or a few years back. And, you know, I play it for the first time and, you know, I review it. This will be, I think, I, I think the, the last Better Late Than Never review I did was, uh, I feel like this is one of the more overrated Resident Evil series. This junk ain't even close to being the best Resident Evil ever. Are you kidding me? You didn't say that. Let's do a better late than never review. Cause it is better that I played, that, that I got a chance to play this game, you know, at this time than never playing it at all. It's better late, right, 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 right. right. So let's do a better late than never review. For the Mass Effect series, one through three, I am not including Andromeda. Some people, <laughs> I, I, I don't have no intentions of playing Andromeda. I'm talking Mass Effect one through three, better late than never. Let's review this junk. You were born to do this. So first off, Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 1 was a solid introduction to the, the series, I feel, and to the universe of Mass Effect. Uh, seeing all the, you know, different races and beings of things that you would be dealing with in this series from the humans to the Turians to the Quarians to the Asari, Krogan, etc. Characters like my brother Garrus. Lord have mercy. My brother. <laughs> I loved Garrus in the, this game to Tali Zora. Oh my God, I loved her too. Liara, Captain Anderson, the ship, the ship, the ship. <laughs> Command, uh, Commander Shepard. I did not, cus I did not customize him at all. I just wanted him to look like how he looked like by default. I think one of the biggest things when um you revisit these games from like back in the day, because I think the first Mass Effect came out in like what. 07, 08, 09, something like that. Uh, and sometimes when you revisit, you know, games like that, even though this was the legendary edition, which was a remaster, sometimes, you know, those those games don't age too well. And I definitely would say Mass Effect 1 gameplay wise was the most uh jank. <laughs> you know it. It wasn't bad at all, but because it was the first, you know, one of the series, you know, the gameplay in this game, um, you know, things could have been, you know, fine tuned and tweaked. But when you have games to where you have choices, sometimes it's kind of like they, uh, they try to make you believe that the choices you make matter. But when the game ends, like pretty much everyone gets the same ending so that's sometimes like issues i have with games that you know to where you have choices they make you feel like you're in control of how the game is going to play out when you're really not but in this game no like based off of some choices 
you make, you know, some characters might get killed and, you know, you might have a bad relationship with, you know, this group of people or, you know, this race of beings. I thought it was a good experience and a great way to, you know, uh, start off the Mass Effect series and it would only get better from there. Now, Mass Effect 2 was definitely probably my overall favorite in the series, man. Uh, the story steps up, the gameplay gets stepped up, the powers get stepped up. I can take you. Oh, this game. Oh, this game is almost knocked over. This junk is really heat. I cannot believe this. I know, bro. I, I, I thought I would have dropped this franchise by now. This joke is actually goading. In my opinion, Mass Effect Two is like the perfect sequel. Like, if you are a Mass Effect fan, like that was the perfect sequel to have, and everything gets improved. So, to me. I think Mass Effect 2 is the best in the series. I I I I think it I don't think, honestly I was going to say I think it edges out 3. No, nah, not even edge out. Ma Mass Effect 2 to me overall is the best one. I felt like it has some of the best moments and character development in the series with multiple characters in this game. Some of the missions get very emotional. Some people that I lost in Mass Effect 2 Especially towards the end, I was like, <laughs> like, I wasn't crying, but I'm like, yo, this junk actually hurt because, you know, you start to fall in love with some of these characters in the game. You know, you're doing missions with them. They're a part of your squad. And then all of a sudden things go wrong and you lose them. The probing of different planets. Launching probe. Probe launch. Not only was that junk addicting to me, like it was executed really well because of course you could not explore every planet you went to this is this is not starfield to where you can explore over a thousand planets at that time when this game came out that was executed really well and it still made you feel like you know wow this world of mass effect and the universe of mass effect like there's so much different stuff to do it is what every person of a franchise wants from a sequel now mass effect 3 this is the one that I just recently, you know, beat like last month and the last one in the trilogy. Uh, apparently, though, a lot of people at the time, this game was very controversial. Well, the ending of the game was very controversial because, you know, based off of, you know, the choices you make towards the end, you know, you're supposed to get a different ending. But I guess at that time, when Mass Effect 3 came out before they dropped the DLC... <laughs> Yo, I've been, yo, I've been Mass Effect 3, 3, 3 fans was heated. The endings are very similar because when I got the ending that I got, which I, which I, <laughs> which was kind of like a troll ending because I, because I had a, a, a freaking shot the uh, AI, <laughs> I shot the AI and then the ending you get from there is like, <laughs> bro, but the real ending that I chose was to, uh, 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 to, to 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 destroy the conduit and you know pretty much save the world of mass effect that was the true ending to me i think that's the best ending because when you watch the other endings they are very similar and again that's why i brought up sometimes in these games you know they give you like these choices to make you feel like you're in control of how the story ends but then you see stuff like that and 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 it's like so all the endings, so all the endings are pretty much the same. So yeah, Mass Effect Three apparently had a very uh, controversial and I guess kind of split fan base with the the ending. And I don't even know if it got to the point to where so much people were complaining about the ending of Mass Effect that that's why DLC came out. Is that correct? <laughs> so essentially, the damn Mass Effect fans pretty much bullied Bioware into dropping DLC to make Mass Effect 3 better. <laughs>
If that's how it actually went down, that is hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious because once I had beat Mass Effect 3, that's when, you know, people in my chat was like, putting me on game about okay this is like what happened and like how people were reacting to this i still thought that mass effect 3 was a great game if you choose the true ending to me which is you know destroy the uh conduit whatever uh i thought that that ending and like all of the stuff that they were showing off i thought that was a great way to end off uh the series and like all of the stuff you've been through through all three games in this series is like the most action packed one like it's like it goes from mass effect one being like really you know kind of story driven and then in mass effect 2 it's more of that but it's more gameplay you know based and stuff like that but it still is about the story so it's kind of more balanced and then in three i i just felt like three was the most action-packed explosive michael bay's wet dream of the mass effect series is definitely the most action-packed one i mean i and, and i don't necessarily i don't necessarily think that that's a bad thing because the story still did you know matter in this game with all of the stuff that you know happened in the first two games the story did still matter but yeah in this game like there's times where like yo you shooting for like <laughs> you shooting straight shooting at suckers for like 10 15 20 minutes and it's like yo when is this junk in <laughs> when does this junk in so after playing all three of these games i can definitely see why so many people fell in love with this series with mass effect at the time that this came let me look this up when when i did the first uh mass uh, mass effect drop November 20th, 2007 is when the first Mass Effect dropped and Mass Effect 3 dropped in 2012. So at that time in the early 2000s, getting a game like this, a series like this at that time, you wasn't seeing stuff like that too often. And it Mass Effect even with you know um the technology at that time not being as good as as it is today and you know everything has to be oh uh, uh open world now <laughs> you know they still made you feel like even at that time like yo this world is big there's a lot to do look at all these different planets i get to visit they still made this game feel like a very massive game even at that time with the tech that they had and it was a good story and had great gameplay so i could see why so many people fell in love with with the mass effect series and why so much people hold this series near and dear to their heart and why some people say that this is the best trilogy ever made in gaming i don't know about all that <laughs> hey 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 I love this series, but I don't know about all that. That that's tough, bro. You got the Halo one through three. You got God of War one through three. You got the Uncharted games. You got uh uh uh. <laughs> you got the Jack. You got the Jack and Daxter series. Oh, but there there you got get like there there's just way too many uh. If we just counting three games and i'm guessing suckers do want to leave out andromeda <laughs> right if we just count in three games in a series ugh, that competition is tight i'm gonna give the entirety of this series a solid strong 8.5 bro i i i thought this was uh even today like i feel like a series that you could play today and appreciate it and have fun playing the game man um i see again why people fell in love with with this series and the characters and the gameplay and the story uh and yeah after playing all three of these games i actually do want um mass effect 4 i don't know if that's been confirmed or not but i feel like i've heard that it's in the works <laughs> like i don't know if i actually have heard it but for some reason i feel like it is a thing um i know bioware today is nowhere near what they used to be back in the day uh people have told me that bioware 
really haven't done no good since Mass Effect 3. <laughs> so yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review, my be my Better Late Than Never series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you were a Mass Effect uh, fan from back in the day and you loved these these games what did you feel about it at that time you know when you was playing all through the games and do you feel like the game is just as good today hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next video my brothers and sisters i catch your boys in my next one all right